Last week, I was privileged to sit down and talk to one of the bravest, most remarkable people I've ever met, Ziggy Shipper. Ziggy was just 11 years old when he first escaped deportation from the Lotz ghetto, where he'd been living with his paternal grandparents. When the ghetto was liquidated in 1944, Ziggy and his grandmother were rounded up and taken to Auschwitz beer canal. His grandfather had already died of starvation. By the time he was just 16, Ziggy had witnessed and experienced unimaginable horrors. But despite it all, his story is one of true courage and hope. As a Holocaust survivor, Ziggy has dedicated his time to ensuring that the millions of Jewish people who were persecuted and killed by the Nazi regime are never forgotten. Now 85, Ziggy travels to schools to tell children and young people across the country his story. I met him with two dedicated young ambassadors of the Holocaust Educational Trust who took part in a visit I made to Auschwitz-Birkenau in 2012. Learning about the Holocaust is not just a history lesson. It is one of the most powerful antidotes we have to anti-Semitism and extremism whenever and wherever it may occur. And we all have a responsibility to ensure that the testimonies of Ziggy and other survivors of the Holocaust continue to be told for generations to come. This year's Holocaust Memorial Day marks the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz-Birkenau and 20 years since the genocide in Srebrenica in Bosnia. So on this day and in the weeks, and months and years that follow, please take a moment to remember the victims of the Holocaust and all subsequent genocides. Together we can honour their memory in the best way possible, fighting hatred and ensuring their voices live on.